Hi, I'm Kim Staten, founder of Films for Change. For the past two years, our team has been creating a new documentary in support of detained Australian journalist Julian Assange. And we are very pleased to present the first teaser for this upcoming film. Thanks for watching. WikiLeaks is a non-state hostile intelligence service. Julian Assange is a high-tech terrorist. A traitor, a treasonous. He has to answer for what he has done. Assange faces up to 175 years in prison for publishing classified documents exposing U.S. war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. He has been detained since the 7th of December 2010 in one form or another. And we are now here after years of imprisonment seeing whether he will actually be extradited or not. Julian Assange is a hero. WikiLeaks has performed this extraordinary public service. If you think Assange is a traitor, he's a rapist, he's a narcissist, he's a hacker, I don't blame you because you have been deceived. And if you think you've not been deceived, that's normal because otherwise you wouldn't be deception. A plan to destroy both WikiLeaks and Julian was laid out in a secret document dated 8th of March 2008. The authors were the Cyber Counterintelligence Assessment Branch of the US Defense Department. He is a David and Goliath battle. Julian is like our David. Julian took on the most powerful countries in the world. I don't know whether Julian fully foresaw what he was likely to get. And I started really digging into this case, and the deeper I got into it, the more dirt came out. But it was not on the side of Assange and WikiLeaks, it was on the side of the government. We now have confirmed that there were plans to kidnap Julian here in the center of London, or even assassinate him. This U.S. extradition case has been falling apart since the moment it started because it was born rotten, it was born at a time when the CIA was plotting to assassinate Julian. The level of unlawful activity in the pursuit of Julian Assange should be enough to have this entire case thrown out. All we have ever asked is that states obey their own laws. In the trial of Julian, what they did was so grotesque and so shameless. They used witnesses who later said they were lying. This was not accepted by the British court. They were not interested in listening to the argument. The United States has applied for his extradition, but he's treated as a criminal in this glass corridor. In order to talk to his lawyers, he had to kneel down press his ear to the glass so he could hear what they had to say and to talk to him. It was absurd. I don't care what country you are, you are not going to have your laws apply to our citizens when they're not even in your bloody country. And our finding was that uh, Mr. Assange shows all the symptoms of a person who has been exposed to psychological torture. Psychological torture is by no means torture light. He had a stroke while subjected to the most intense psychological pressure possible. In this age of coercion, one of the most grotesque forms of coercion is war. If wars can be started by lies, peace can be started by truth. The lives of our families are important to all of us to all of us. And this is what Julian's trying to prevent. What he's saying is that if we knew the truth about wars, then they wouldn't happen. What Assange and WikiLeaks did in 2010 was the biggest game changer in my lifetime. It exposed once and for all the lies, the lies that the wars were based on and the lies that the wars are. They will go after anyone who dares challenge the right of power of the oligarchy without frontiers to commit crimes against humanity in our name without our knowledge. Press freedom is steadily deteriorating around the world. It's getting worse year by year as journalists are targeted for reporting the truth. Everybody should care because it impacts us all. This goes to the fundamentals of press freedom and of democracy. It's not a legal battle at all. 
It's a political battle. It is based on hateful and spiteful revenge of a powerful entity that wants to get back at the individual who exposed the truth about it. It is that simple. For 5,000 years, human civilization has been battling to establish, maintain, and defend our right to free speech, free expression, and a free press. With the formation of large civilizations came order, structure, and harsh restrictions on speech. We've been in a struggle to claw back our freedoms ever since. The persecution of Julian has been a kind of long, slow form of killing somebody. I've taken so many steps for so many years, and I feel like Julian's life might be coming to an end. We have the right to exist. We have a right to live. And we have a right for this nightmare to come to an end once and for all. Humans descend in an unbroken line through generations, through eons of time. Whether we realize it or not, we are joined in a single strand of a shared destiny. The powerful would have us in chains made of metal. But if we can all put our minds together, our hearts together and our hands together, we may find that hearts that yearn for justice are stronger than cold iron. This is generally the view on people, oh, we don't know much about Assange. Well, you should know, because whether you know it or not, he is fighting for you, and you're right to know. They are about to take every right away from you. You will not be able to fight for any other cause. We are talking about the fundamentals here. WikiLeaks just succeeded in finding documents that existed and making them available to the world public. What could be more honorable than that? Our team and I have been working on a documentary about and in support of Julian Assange called Free the Truth, Free Assange. The main aim of this film is to gather more support for the campaign for Julian's freedom. At its core, this is a political case and a mass public outcry is needed in order to pressure the US, UK and Australian politicians to do the right thing and release him. The uniqueness of this film is that rather than focusing on the what and when of the story, it will instead mainly focus on the big why of the situation. The goal is to help people understand the meaning of what has occurred and the value of Julian and Wikileaks' work, to help people to interpret the intentions of the ruling class, make sense of their actions and their treatment of this journalist, and what all of this means for our own rights and freedoms. To become aware of the erosion of press freedom and the increasing limitations on our ability to access truthful information. This film will be a powerful educational tool to give viewers an in-depth understanding of his plight, as well as the wider implications of this case that affect all of us. The grave threats to free speech, press freedom and freedom of information that this case and these events represent. Many people have been manipulated by an elaborate propaganda and smear campaign against Julian. This film will help unravel the false narratives and clarify the true importance of the work of Julian and Wikileaks and bring the focus back onto what we can and should learn from the disclosures that they have brought to light. Over the past 18 months, through the production stage of the film, we have interviewed 20 of the most prominent and articulate advocates filmed outside the courthouse at every court hearing of the extradition trial we now have confirmed that there were plans to kidnap Julian here in the centre of London or even assassinate him. To extradite Julian would certainly mean that he would be convicted of journalism under the Espionage Act. 
we have filmed outside Belmarsh Prison, filmed the spectacular human chain event in London in 2022, and created two fascinating animations to illustrate key points of the message. The documentary has been filmed on three continents and in nine cities of the world. The revealing interviews that we will present in this film include Stella Assange, Julian's wife, John Shipton, Julian's father, Daniel Ellsberg, Pentagon Papers whistleblower, John Pilger, veteran journalist, Kristen Raffinson, WikiLeaks editor-in-chief, Tariq Ali, author and historian, Jill Stein, Doctors for Assange representative and ex-US presidential candidate, Jennifer Robinson, human rights lawyer and long-standing member of Julian's legal team, Paul Perez Sales, psychiatrist, and many more. Our first animation in the film is a depiction of the conditions of the extradition hearing where Julian was kept in a glass dock, making it almost impossible for him to hear what was being said and to communicate with his lawyers. Our second animation is a brief history of free speech and press freedom, which illustrates with artistic flair the 4,000 year battle for our right to speak our mind and broadcast, print and disseminate our ideas. It also reveals the historical significance of WikiLeaks as a technological innovation, as well as the magnitude of this situation of a journalist being prosecuted under the Espionage Act. Before WikiLeaks, we knew a lot less about the world's powerful institutions and leaders than we now know. We knew only what they wanted us to know. WikiLeaks has enabled us to glimpse the rampant corruption and the callousness of modern wars and has exposed countless injustices perpetrated by governments and corporations. WikiLeaks was founded on the powerful moral principle that governments and other vested interests should not operate behind walls of secrecy. WikiLeaks has released more than 10 million documents of public interest since it was established in 2006 and continues to do so. No one can forget or unsee the brutality that we witnessed, for example, in the collateral murder video as part of the Iraq war log disclosures. Julian Assange has won more than 20 international awards for his journalism work, yet one of the false narratives is that he is not a journalist. The fact is that Julian reinvented journalism, giving it a previously unimagined level of accuracy. Through a carefully orchestrated and planned campaign by the US and its allies, which has been going on for more than 12 years, he has suffered immense physical and psychological torture, smears, lawfare, spying, assassination plots, and many other transgressions of his human rights. His young children have grown up visiting their father in a jail. His wife battles on on his behalf. I urge everyone to come together and fight for Julian. Julian represents all our liberties and all our rights. If extradited to the US, he faces a 175 year prison sentence. He has been scapegoated and made an example of in order to ward off other future would-be whistleblowers and publishers who consider exposing the crimes of the powerful. Every major human rights group, including Amnesty, International Human Rights Watch and Reporters Without Borders, are on the same page about this issue, that it is a breach of human rights, an erosion of free speech, and that it sets an alarming precedent. The persecution of Julian Assange is a grave threat to us all because it grossly impinges on freedom of speech and press freedom. The current proceedings and the issue and situation as a whole are a litmus test for the shared values of democracy, truth and justice. Free the Truth, Free Assange documentary will be an urgent clarion call to humanity to join this important campaign. We hope to have your help to make it possible for us to do the crucial and final stage of this film, which is the post-production editing. If enough people contribute, we can finish the film and it will become an educational and awareness building tool. 
Let's work together to help inform and inspire more people to support this cause and take action. If public support reaches a critical mass, it is very possible that the governments will do what the people ask and free Julian Assange. We are very grateful to the more than 1,400 people who have so far contributed financially to help us successfully complete the production stage of the film. Now we're on to the final stage, the post-production, and the finish line is in sight. We hope you'll support the final stage of our project and help us assemble, edit and polish the film so that it's ready to be shown in cinemas and online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next update.